Are you actually getting everything you can from your webcam? Probably not, and I'm gonna show you how to do a lot more than you thought you could do with your current webcam with a little piece of software that you probably haven't even heard of. I'll even be able to show you how it looks on different webcams. I've got a Logitech, an Elgato face cam, and a Sony A6000 series camera that all of these will work. So if you own any of these, you'll be able to do this for sure. A lot of other webcams will work as well. So let's get started. All right, so step one is going to the NVIDIA website and downloading NVIDIA Broadcast. This is the software that we're gonna use to do all kinds of amazing stuff for our webcam. So just click that download now button and install. And once you've got that, this is it. It's just a small window here and there's some microphone stuff if you wanna try to do effects on there, um, some sort of speaker thing. But what we're gonna focus on is the camera area. And uh, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your webcam. And uh, every webcam connected to your computer is gonna be on this list. I'm gonna choose my Elgato face cam. And once that's spun up, you're gonna be able to see that in the preview. And then you can choose your quality settings. So. We'll go all the way to 1920 by 1080 with 60 frames. It'll do a little refreshy fresh, and then there you go. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that like your exposure is correct and all these other things, color temperature, like right now you can see I'm very overexposed. So you click this little button here, and that's gonna get you into your uh, camera properties. And I'm gonna start in camera control. I'm gonna unselect auto exposure and then move this slider up and down until we get an exposure that's pretty close to realistic there. And we'll start from there. It's a little bit dark, so we'll go back to this first tab here and we can adjust brightness and contrast to try to help with that, to bring it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna play with brightness and play with contrast and that looks pretty good to me. You can also adjust the white balance in case that's a little too yellow, a little too blue. Just uncheck that auto and then slide your white balance up and down until you get a natural skin tone and the colors uh, elsewhere in your view look correct. And then hit apply and okay. And there you go. Now that's just the basics of setting this up, but the true beauty of NVIDIA broadcast, I'm about to show you right now. It's awesome. But while you're improving your webcam quality, you might as well also improve the way you show your webcam. For that, I suggest Owned. They've got lots of webcam frame packages, and you might as well go a step further and unify your whole aesthetic to match with all kinds of overlays, transitions, panels, custom alerts, and more. You can even get things for your streaming channel like emote designs at way less cost than hiring a designer. Use code Hawaii at checkout to get 50% off right now. Link is in the description below. So if I scroll down here on the left side, I have two effects. The first one gives you a bunch of options. If you click that drop down, you'll get background blur, background replacement, background removal, video noise removal. I'm gonna start out with the first one, background blur. So I'll select that and I'll click this toggle to turn that on. And then you'll see that my background's been blurred out by AI trying to decide what's in the foreground, what's in the background, what's RN and what's not RN. And you can adjust the strength with this little slider here. So if I go all the way up, you could see it's super blurred. But if I go all the way down, it's just subtle. And you can see the subtle difference if I turn this off and then back on. It's just a little bit, which is actually pretty nice. What I like most about the background blur is that I'm basically taking my $150, $200 webcam and making it look like a $2,000 webcam by giving it that shallow depth of field that you would get with a very expensive lens. You can also choose between performance and quality modes. Performance is just kind of acting very quickly, whereas quality is kind of like looking for making sure that like the edge really does match your edges, your shoulder, your face as, as accurately as possible. Now it's not perfect, but it's still pretty fantastic. So let's take a look at another one. Instead of background blur, I'll click background replacement and um, that just replaces it with something else. Now this is where it really starts to become noticeable that uh, sometimes it has a hard time like between those two fingers there, detecting 
uh, whether or not it should blur something. So you're never gonna get perfection with these kinds of things. And that's where you may want to invest in a green screen if you're going to use NVIDIA to replace your background so that you ensure you have a really great edge to the replacement. And so you can choose a file. I'll just go look for a different image of some kind and there you go. Now my background has been replaced with the image of my choosing. So let's try a different one. We're gonna go background removal. And that just completely removes the background. So there's just nothing. Now what's interesting about this is if you go into OBS and you bring in the uh, NVIDIA webcam, I will explain in a moment how you bring this into OBS, but with background replacement, I could add the image in OBS and put it underneath that camera source. And then I'm doing it here in OBS instead of in the NVIDIA um, software. So an interesting option here is to actually use a video file if you want. So we can add a media source and look for a video file on our PC, maybe even set it up on a loop and then drag that underneath your video source and uh, just do all kinds of crazy things. Another really fun feature with this is the auto frame. So if I turn this on, it's gonna zoom in a little bit and you can decide how much it zooms here on the slider. I'm gonna go about midway and if I move slightly out of center, it chases me so I can go this way and it's just following me as I move around in the frame. The farther you zoom out, the less you have because you're zoomed out to the point where your webcam is pretty much, the borders are not that far away from the edge of the screen. So you will wanna zoom in enough that when you wander around, there's actually some tracking to be done. All right, so how do you add this in OBS? I'm gonna show you how right now. So in OBS, you're gonna add into a scene a video capture device, and it's just gonna be like adding any other webcam. You can give it a name, I'll call it NVIDIA Cam or something like that, and click OK. And then in device, you're gonna look for NVIDIA Broadcast. You click that, and there you go. Now it's in there, you can leave all the defaults and just click OK. Now what's truly awesome about this is that you can have your camera on in OBS and in the NVIDIA software at the same time. In almost all other cases, you can only have a webcam on in one program or another. So you can either have it on in OBS or in your web call like Zoom or Skype, um, but never both at the same time. Whereas with the NVIDIA Broadcast app, you can have it on in the app and wherever your destination for that webcam is gonna be. So let's say I wanna make adjustments. I wanna turn off the auto frame and maybe I want to uh, mess with the properties of the webcam to change the exposure or the whatever. Um, I can do that. Another awesome thing is when you're done setting up your camera in NVIDIA Broadcast, you can actually just close the application. You don't need it open in order for those things to be applied uh, with your camera. I can even restart the computer right now and not have to redo all of those settings, reopen NVIDIA Broadcast before doing what I gotta do. It remembers everything. You can even change webcams while everything is going on. So you go into NVIDIA Broadcast and you say, I want a different webcam to be used. Say this Logitech C922, I'll click that and uh, now it's switched to the other webcam that's connected to my computer. And just like before, you can go in, you can change the settings for all of that. I can even change my filters if I want a little bit more background blur, just add the strength to that. It's pretty fantastic, especially for free software. And if you've been considering buying the Elgato Facecam, their uh, first webcam offering, and you wanna know whether or not it's actually any good, I've got a video coming out that uh, will compare that camera with a couple of other common cameras that you may already even own uh, to make sure that upgrading to that face cam is going to be worth it. I'll see you next time.